What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield team builder. As you can see in your screen right now, the very next team we're building around is... I might butcher her name, but I think her name is Hatterene. Gigantamax Hatterene is the Pokemon we're going to be building around next. Um, I need to give it some items. Hold out. Okay, so I put the items back on my Pokemon. I took them out originally. So as you can see, we are building against Gigantamax Hatterene here. Um, very beautiful Pokemon, and unfortunately, I couldn't get a hidden build, a hidden ability Hatterene quite yet. Um, I just really been trying to breed for a shiny Squirtle. I know in one of my videos I said I was trying to breed for a shiny Bulbasaur, uh, but it is a shiny Squirtle that I'm trying to get. Currently at 1,900 eggs, and I do have a shiny charm, and I also do have uh, a foreign ditto on my Squirtle, so I don't know why I'm having such terrible luck when it comes to the shiny. Which actually has cut time to um, breeding competitive Pokemon. So I, ha I do have a little bit of... Uh, I have like three teams that are uh, pre-built. My goal is to try to get the Shiny Squirtle within, within the next month here. Fingers crossed I get it this upcoming week because I am so... Uh, I'm not necessarily getting frustrated because I have some hobbies that I'm doing on the side while I'm breeding. Like watching TV with my girlfriend for example. Um, but I, it's just, I haven't gotten the shiny Squirtle and I've already have hatched over a thousand seven hundred eggs. I'm already at one thousand eight hundred eggs and I'm just like, boom, like I'm mind blown right now. But anyways, we got Gigantamax Hatterene here holding an assault vest. We are lucky enough to get a six, uh, six IV here. Um, when it comes to this Hatterene, you do have 252 HP and 252 special attack with an assault vest. I really wish I had a magic bounce Hatterene. Unfortunately, I don't have one quite yet i do but it's another love ball but my ocd tells me let's have all of our pokemon within a dusk ball here so that's why we're going to go ahead and just use a gigantamax hatterene but anyways we got mystical fire for our very first move here uh it's really just for coverage uh hatterene doesn't have a whole lot of moves it can learn uh as far as coverage wise so these are really the best four moves that i really found within its move that it can use while holding an assault vest we got Dazzling Gleam for Stab, Giga Drain for Longevity, and Expanding Force. Again, this is a brand new move introduced in the Isle of Armor, which actually gets boosted when it comes to Psychic Terrain here. So if we are able to... I don't think Gigantamax Hatterene is able to set up the terrain, but if it, we are able to, it's going to do some damage to my opponent. Because I do think that it's signature uh, G max move does use it like a type move so I don't think we'll be able to set up these terrain but if we come against Pokemon like Ndidi for example I'm gonna try to make the best out of the terrain and make my opponent pay for it and then when it comes to uh why aren't why aren't you oh that's why we got uh so it was originally mild nature I minted it for a modest nature which is why it shows like that anyways for the second Pokemon in our team here we got a beautiful high dragon this is a modest nature high dragon holding the choice specs. So we're going to try to dish out as much damage as we can with this bad boy. And I'm really excited to use high dragon because it's one of my favorite Pokemon to use. Especially when it comes to, with a choice specs modest nature. Because just the damage that it can do to opposing Pokemon is absolutely unbelievable to me. And because of that, high dragon holds a special place in my heart because of how powerful this Pokemon can be. And I know it's a pseudo legendary, which... Most of the legendaries tend to be kind of overpowering compared to other Pokemon, but this Pokemon right here has got me out of so many battles. It's gotten some sweeps for me with this toy spec, so that's really why I decided to showcase it in this um, in these upcoming Wi-Fi battles. Again, we do have a modest nature. Levitate's the only ability High Dragon can learn, but we got Surf for coverage. We got Dark Pulse as a stab attack, Flamethrower for more coverage, and then Draco Meteor, which is probably going to be our primary stab attack. We're just going to spam Draco Meteor and switch out of there, which should do a lot of damage to my opponent's Pokemon. So hopefully this High Dragon can really put in some work against my opponent. The third Pokemon in our team builder here, we got Salazzle. This Pokemon was really hard for me to breed for, especially because only male or female salandit can evolve into a salazzle so because of that i really wanted to get a good nature and also good ivs and i was fortunate enough to get a six iv uh, salazzle here so we are holding a focus sash and you guys are going to see exactly why running tim and nature with corrosion here I, i'm really thinking about moving dragon pulse and then just giving it the uh the toxic to take advantage of its ability 
but I'm not sure yet to be honest with you. But anyways, we got 252 special attack and 250. This is really going to be our our setup Pokemon with the nasty plot. You can try to get a plus two and special attack and really start doing some damage on my opponent's team here. We got Sludge Wave, which is probably going to be the primary slab attack that we're going to use here. I just realized that Sludge Wave actually got a, a buff because its accuracy is 100 instead of 95 now. So that's actually pretty good. We got Dragon Pulse here for coverage. And really, the reason I want to run Toxic rather than Dragon Pulse is because we already have a High Dragon who really is going to spam a lot of uh, Draco Meteor. We don't really have use for Dragon Pulse, but it is nice to have sometimes to catch Dragon-type Pokemon off guard. Uh, but we got Flamethrower for more coverage. So we got three Pokemon with, flame with uh, Fire-type attacks, which is... Kind of going to threaten a lot of Ferrothorns. Hopefully we run into Ferrothorns. I haven't seen a Ferrothorn in a while. But if we do see some, they're going to they're gonna run into a lot of trouble against us. On to the fourth Pokemon in our Pokemon Sword and Shield filter with the Gigantamax Hatterene. We got Perserker. Perserker is a really cool Pokemon that I've been wanting to use in Pokemon Sword and Shield ever since its debut. Because of its stats though, it's really hard to pull something unique off with this thing. It has 50, I think it's 50 or 55 base speed, but we're going to give it a choice scarf to try to, um, to try to put some pressure on, po on my opponent's Pokemon that are a little bit on the slower side, um, because the ability that this Pokemon has is actually the, the tough, the, yeah, the battle, no, no, I'm going to have to ability capsule my Pokemon, but this should be a tough class Perserker. And I do have enough uh, battle points in order to get an ability capsule, so I'm going to do that here shortly. But ignore the ability because it should be the Tough Claws. We got Adamant Nature, and we are running 252 HP and 252 attack. Um, so really, again, this is going to be our little bit of a wall punisher. It's not really fast, but it is really bulky. So really, I'm thinking about running a... I'm thinking about running a choice band or something like that. I already have a choice banded Pokemon, which you guys are going to see. So maybe a life orb is going to be a little bit better for Berserker. It's a really tricky Pokemon to use. So I, I, I don't know how this Berserker is going to perform, to be honest with you. I really hope it performs. Expect this choice scarf to be a life orb in, in the Wi Fi battle, though. We got U turn for pivot. We got close combat because it's a really good fighting type attack play rough for coverage and iron head which is going to be an attack that we're going to be using quite a lot alongside the close combat and u-turn so this first circuit is kind of it's going to be a little bit tricky to use but i'm kind of excited to use it if pokemon in our team builder here is going to be an araquanid to be honest um araquanid is a pokemon that's really intrigued me ever since its debut in uh, pokemon sun and moon because of the of its stats of I should myself if it stabs i keep trying to say stab attacks but that's not what i'm trying to say it's it's stats it's stats yeah that's what i'm trying to say the stats that this pokemon have are a little bit tricky to use also so we're gonna take we're gonna take on the hold down daddy man we're gonna take advantage of a we're gonna take advantage of a rock when it's choice banded attacks with inanimate nature because water bubble is a Pokemon that lowers the power of fire type attacks done to the Pokemon and prevents it from burning. But at the same time, it boosts the power of water type attacks. And that's why we're running a choice band on this thing. We got Leech Life for Longevity. Bunge, because it lowers opponent's attack stats, which can be handy sometimes. So we're running Triple Stab on this thing, two of which are the same. We got Crunch for coverage, and we got Liquidation, which is going to be the attack we're going to be spamming as much as we can on this thing. So again, we're running 252 HP, 252 attack, and then put the rest into the special defense. Um, really, our work, our goal is to switch this Pokemon into some special attackers. As you can see with our team, it's actually not very fast. It's more of a bulky build because we got the Hatterene, we got the Perserker, and we got the Araquanid, which are not very fast Pokemon, but they tend to be a little bit on the bulkier side whenever you use them in the right situations. Uh, and that is because... Really, I, I want to use as much Pokemon as I can that are that can take a hit and then a, and then you know what's the word I'm looking for. So my goal is to use some Pokemon that can take a hit and then attack as hard as possible, and that's why Choice Banded Araquanid is here. This is why Perserker is here. 
Um, so Lazul is is all right. It's a it's a balanced Pokemon in this team. That's why Hydragon is modest nature, and that's why Hatterene is also here. Oh, our, our final Pokemon in this team builder, we got Dusclops. If you like Dusclops, um, I've been wanting to use a Dusknor for a little bit now, but when I was comparing stats, I said, what can Dusclops do? That Dusknor cannot, and that is hold an Evil Light, which boosts its defensive uh, stats quite a lot. So if you look at our defensive stat, we got 200 in the in the defensive stat, which is absolutely crazy. Its HP stat is not the best. I'm gonna be honest, and that's why we max it out and we max the defensive stat while being, I believe this is a bold nature, right? Yeah, bold nature. And then we put in the rest into the special defensive stats. Given that we have an Arbok with it and we have an Assault Vest Hatterene, I decided we're going to try to bring in something that has the bulk in the defensive side. And then we got pressure to try to lower the PP down of my opponent's Pokemon. So we got Calm Mind in case we do need to boost the special defensive stats, um, which I really don't see happening very often. We got will o -Wisp to really take advantage of physical attackers and really... It'll allow me to use these other Pokemon a little bit better. So Dusclops is going to be one of the most important pieces of the team. You got Rest for Longevity and Nightshade, which is a really good attack. Uh, we're going to be playing at level 50s. So it's going to do 50 damage every single time. Sorry I was a little bit rusty in this team builder. I know I stuttered a lot. It's as I need to drink water right now. And also, I don't know why I'm, I'm like stuttering a lot. <laughs> it's just one of those, I guess, where I can't really... Now, but anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this team builder comment down below on your thoughts about the team what changes would you guys make to the team if this was your team and also subscribe to my channel for more pokemon sword and shield content we do team builders and we do wi-fi battles so we'll see you guys on friday with another wi-fi battle and i will see you guys on wednesday with some fall guys with the boys so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time Oh, 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 oh